I would be remiss if I didn't ask you about this hockey lockout. What are your, uh, like you're on the side of the players, obviously. Of course. You know, what are your thoughts on the way, the relationship between the two? Well, here's how I see it, George. I, I remember Ted Lindsay started the union and uh, those guys didn't make a whole lot of money back then. And it was because of Ted Lindsay that I got to make the money that I, that I made. And so I'll always be um, extremely loyal to those guys that came before me. And I have the utmost respect because they built the game. They built the Players Association, which gave us, you know, education around the whole thing. And so I believe there's always a deal to be done. And to me, it just seems that both sides have dug in and aren't willing to give up ground. But the owners made the players in the last agreement partners. And because of that, they, gave, they grew the game to where the game is now worth a billion dollars more than when they right. did. And so I would think that because of that, the players would played a big part in growing the game. You know, the Ovechkins, the Crosbys, the Stamkoses, you know, these guys. And, you know, I do tons of events and I see guys like Gordy Howe and Johnny Bauer at these events and I'm going, what are you guys doing here? Like, you should be enjoying your life and, you know, you should be in a rocking chair bouncing your grandkids or whatever, right? But they have to be there to sign autographs because you gotta get paid. they got to get paid. And to me, that's wrong. Yeah. And if I and if I didn't blow fifty million bucks, <laughs> I, I would have, you know, I would have helped those you said, guys. You out. said it with a chuckle. <laughs> Do you laugh when you say it, just to prevent yourself from crying when you say it? No, <laughs> because you know what, George? Uh, I blow fifty million bucks. It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. How was it? Mean? I would well, love okay. two divorces. Yeah. So you split. So you split that in half yeah. right there. Yeah. And uh, you know, I lost. Uh, in New York over a three-year period, I lost probably $3 million gambling on football and cards and all that kind of stuff. And, and you know, probably a 350 or what did I say, $3,500 cocaine habit I had uh, towards the end there. So it's, it's not that hard. It goes away. It goes away quick. You Do know? you believe that the game bounces back? Yes. In every market? Yes. It's a great game, George. It's the best. Like... You love it probably more than I do. I really do. I know you do. Dude, it's Because every time we, we're together, yep. that's all we talk about is hockey. I feel about badly about that. You no, know, but <laughs> it's great. But you're, I think, the majority of Canadians. You know, it's an institution. It's our game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's like going, especially when I played. You know, you go to places like the old Chicago Stadium, Boston Garden, um, Madison Square Garden, Montreal Forum. You're walking into the Vatican of hockey, yeah. and you get to play, and you, it's like, that's unbelievable right. stuff, right? But it and used to be a man's game, and it seems now it's a boy's game, and I wonder if... Too many coaches. Is that what it is? Too many. They're playing Xbox with these guys now, right? You know? I'm Because I, when I went back from my comeback, you know, I'd been out of the game for six years, and I couldn't believe how easy it was to play, because it's just a position game. You don't really have to think. You just have to be in the right position. You just go to camp, learn the system, plug yourself into that system, and it, you wait for that opportunity and that turnover. So for a guy like me, it was it was pretty easy to play. But but uh, you know, I I know that I played in the greatest era, the most incredible hockey players. You know, Lemieux, Gretzky, Sackick, Iserman, and the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. And now we're seeing, you know, every team has couple superstars and everybody's the same so it's hard to yeah. you know but uh but it's still exciting you know yeah. stanley cup finals this year was awesome for sure you know and it was great for the game that la won that's a big market team and uh you know they had a great team I, it would have been it reminded me kind of the 89 flames big strong uh, tough do you have team to bring, do you have to bring that up <laughs> right do you know, I know who they beat, okay? Do you have yeah. <laughs> but in a seven-game series, playing against the Los Angeles Kings, a small guy like myself, yeah. they would have just grinded and grinded and grinded on me until they just tired me right out because, right. you know, physically you just can't do it over that long a time. Do players want to play in the Olympics? I guess. Because yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're humming and hawing back and forth, but they yeah. want to, right? Yeah. It's all about money, right? 
But I'll tell you, when I was playing road hockey in, in Russell, Manitoba, when I was 8, 9, 10, 12 years old, never dreamed that I would, like, the word Olympics never came into my vocabulary because at that time it was all amateurs that were playing. It was always Game 7, Stanley Cup Finals, and I would score the goal, right? <laughs> you know? But I never, ever thought it... I'd ever get an opportunity to play in the Olympics. I got to play in two Olympics. The first one was obviously disappointing, but but Salt Lake was. Are you kidding me? Well, like the the, yeah, the Sochi Games, I think ultimately, or the, the Winter Games will go back to CBC at some point, right? And so when that happens, we want the NHL. Yeah, right? absolutely, for sure. And and you know what? We were in the movie The Score together, yeah, where score, where, musical, where right. George was a. Uh, you're the play-by-play -play guy. That's right. I was a hockey announcer watching fights. It was awesome. So there's no reason why you can't be the play-by-play -play guy Listen, in future Olympics. Listen, I'll give this show up to do play-by-play -play in a heartbeat. Well, I know you would. Friend.